Welcome to the Venari Podcast. I'm Tim Hartnell, and in this episode, I'll be speaking with Sevinch Yenaj. Welcome, Sevinch. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the Venari Podcast. I'm really looking forward to the discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Tim, for having me today. And uh, I'm also looking forward to good discussions with you all. Thank you. Brilliant. So Sevinch is currently CEO of Mondi Corrigan in Turkey with more than 25 years uh, in executive management, working with the likes of Delphi Automotive and Greif Packaging. Um, in this episode, we're going to be looking at discussing effective leadership, the challenges within packaging, and then finally, some of the key traits uh, needed uh, to excel, I guess, in a, in a CEO role. So to kick things off and to start with, um, Sevinch, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about Mondi Corriga and some of the challenges you're facing. So my company, Mondi, actually is a global leader in uh, packaging and paper industry. Uh, it employs almost 22,000 people uh, across 100 production sites, and it operates uh, almost uh, 30, 30 countries. So key operations are mainly located in Europe, North America, and Africa. So here in Turkey, uh, we produce corrugated boxes in eight production facilities. And at the same time, we have one paper production facility and we have one recycling facility. So total of 10 production sites in Turkey uh, reporting uh, under this business business unit. And I have been leading the company since mid uh, 2018. So five years already completed. One of the main activity for me uh, was and still is the integration of uh, our companies, our teams, the cultural integration at the same time, business systems integration procedures, and also the synergy creation among all those facilities. And above of all, of course, the engagement uh, of our people overall. In parallel, uh, the economical situation in Turkey is quite challenging. Uh, also, the trading conditions are quite challenging in Turkey. Specific to our industry, the competition is extremely tough. So, so that's why we need to perform in a better way in order to keep and win uh, our customers. So to, to sum up, actually, these are the three challenges, uh, the, the highlights of the challenges. Uh, which I face within the last 12 months. And apparently they will continue the upcoming uh, year as well. Yeah, no, well, thank you for sharing those. I think hopefully um, they don't pose too much of a sort of threat to I guess, your growth in the region. Um, obviously everyone, well, quite a lot of people at the moment are dealing with headwinds. So um, yeah. thank you for being sort of honest and uh, our listeners will appreciate that. Um, so look, having worked in manufacturing for over 20 years now, uh, let's talk a little bit about leadership. Um, how important do you think this has been in terms of some of the businesses you've worked at um, and what have been some of the key learnings um, mm -hmm. in terms of leadership styles or skills? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, actually, of course, needless to say, leadership is uh, so critical. It plays a very critical role in the success of the business. Uh, and personally, of course, during that journey, I have several uh, lessons learned regarding the leadership skills. And uh, at the end, of course, you develop your uh, leadership style. I'm always passionate about my responsibilities. And in the business environment, actually, uh, I define myself as the servant leader. I always encourage diversity of people and diversity of thoughts, actually, within the organization. So, because I know that diversity brings a uh, very creative working environment, which definitely helps to obtain improved business results. The second thing, uh, I always work uh, to create a culture of trust, because I know that trust uh, ensures the speed in everything we do. Empowerment is a very critical success factor in the teams. And in order to empower people, of course, you need to trust to them. So, so these are uh, going hand in hand. Meanwhile, uh, depending on the experience level and depending on the circumstances we are in, uh, I also uh, use the leadership style, which is the situational leadership style. And needless to say, resilience, 
flexibility, adaptability. I mean, they are becoming more and more important uh, under the uh, current business conditions. Beforehand, uh, leaders, especially the top leaders, were expected to know the answers. But at the moment, uh, really, the life is very complex. And I always believe in the value of having the uh, feedbacks or the opinions of the others. So that's why rather than providing an answer, uh, leaders, from my point of view, should have the courage of saying, I don't know, sometimes. And uh, we all need to find the answers uh, together by having our uh, open uh, discussions. So in short, thinking together uh, while using your heart and mind. So th this is my definition is very critical uh, success factor uh, in the business. Yeah, brilliant. I, I, that's so, um, I mean, thank you for all those insights. I think you achieved a sort of historic moment, didn't you, when you became the first female CEO? How do you sort of ensure and enable that you, you sort of bring different perspectives and skills? And do you think sort of your perspectives and in different industries you've worked with sort of uh, have helped you sort of perform to your best of your abilities? Uh, it's true that I'm the uh, first woman CEO of uh, paper industry in Turkey. Uh, so, so what I brought to industry from my point of view is maybe more human touch. So I'm not saying only the human touch, but this is really human touch. Uh, so meaning uh, more transparent communication, uh, more consensus building, uh, people first philosophy, uh, more emphasis on involvement and engagement. So uh, in addition to these characteristics, actually, I'm a, a certified business coach and mentor. So I'm using also this approach uh, while managing uh, my team, uh, while managing uh, our organization. So my doors are always open uh, to, to our colleagues and everyone, even the shop floor personnel, they, they know this. So whenever I'm in the plans, so, so uh, we, we, we talk uh, with everyone. And so I use every opportunity really to listen to the organization and to listen what uh, the ecosystem says to us. So I really value uh, the impact of engaged employees for the success of the business. So in my first years in Mondi, we have achieved uh, the highest employee engagement uh, score increase in our business segment. And in the same year, uh, there was a customer satisfaction survey uh, again in our business segment. And we, as Turkey, we got the highest uh, customer scores. So th this was really fantastic. And during that time, each and every day, we were improving our financial performance, operational performance. So this was really a continuous improvement journey. So in summary, from my point of view, this is really a fantastic uh, success triangle starting with happy engaged employees continuing with uh, happy customers and ending with uh, good uh, financial results uh, in the uh, last five years uh, in mondi actually each and every year uh, i have been uh, selected as the most successful 50 women ceos in turkey and not only the women ceo but another uh, important topic for me last year i have been uh, selected as one of the 50 top business leaders in turkey so including women and men so so th this is uh, th this is crucial uh, th th this is fantastic feeling to be honest and hopefully i will be able to continue to create more value uh, for the businesses together with the teams wow this is thank you summary <laughs> Thank you, Zemin, for sharing that. Um, doing great things at Mondi. So what I can say is keep up the good work. And um, Thank yeah, you. obviously you're, you're a great leader to follow. So um, no, well done. Uh, so finally, last question from me. Um, what are you excited about over the next um, couple of years? Any sort of exciting trends or developments you're seeing? As company, Mondi, Mondi decided to grow in Turkey based on our performance as Mondi uh, Turkey beforehand. So uh, this is this is exciting for us. Uh, this is quite motivating because it's uh, a clear evidence of uh, Mondi's trust to our country and at the same time to our leadership. 
Another critical topic is, of course, the talent management uh, to identify the talents and to develop uh, future leaders of Mondi or future leaders of the industry for Turkey is very motivated. So I devote really quality time and energy for uh, these topics because I really would like to ensure the good uh, progression and succession uh, plan in our organization. Um, and at the same time, innovation and design uh, capabilities of our uh, organization is very crucial because uh, this is what customers are asking from us. At the same time, there is a very critical topic, of course, uh, sustainability. Sustainability is a topic for everyone. And sustainability is an area where Mondi is very strong and powerful. So that, that's why together with the team in, uh, in Turkey, in our country, this is also the area we will uh, continue to work. So, so when I put these all these things, uh, that these are the challenges, but, but these are uh, quite exciting for us. On one side, we will enjoy the journey, and at the same time, uh, we will uh, create uh, good business results uh, together with our engaged team. Yeah. I was going to say that's the main thing. You've got to enjoy it as well. I think you've got. You, well, it sounds like you're going to be very busy over the course of the next. Um, one or two years and even even more than that probably i'd, I'd imagine uh, but no, look, thank you so much for coming on the podcast and um, look forward to catching up again later thank you thank you thank you very much really team uh, it has been a real pleasure and i hope to meet you soon as well thank you